Okay, got them all in here. If everyone's ready, we'll get started. Looks like I see check marks flashing. You know, if they're not ready by now, too bad. <coughs> so here we go. Cafe, maybe the last round. All that weight just to see one round potentially, and then maybe bank. So again, I apologize for all the issues with that. I, I guess it technically was my fault in hitting circle, but not my fault that the PS4 servers have problems at the moment. Everyone with some good ping to start out with as well. So hopefully that gave uh, the Infamy Boys a chance to kind of really rethink what they were doing that was losing. So we may see a comeback here, we may not. Waiting on everyone to load up again. Hopefully no one drops out. Easy doesn't have a super high ping this time. That's what he had right before he dropped out. So again, orange team here. Devious have four points currently, standing on match point, and Infamy have two points. Needing to win two in a row if they want to stay on this map and not just move on to bank as losers of this one. There we go, got everyone loaded in here. We'll get cracking. So they're going to be bringing that echo. In desiccation, going for the same setup as before, casting all these windows, and then probably going to be playing with Dark Cloud in that room. Though Dark is on a mute now. See again if this mute jammers are gonna work. We saw two now on either side of this door, or one on either side of the door rather. Unfortunately, we are gonna have to rehost after this if, uh, regardless of who wins. Well, no, we'll have one team leave, so. Anyone who is not familiar with the PlayStation 4 Major League, which is the same as the Xbox Major League in that sense, that it is uh, sort of like somewhere between Challenger League and Pro League for uh, consoles for Xbox and PS4. So they are playing for a small prize, um, but there is no LAN event for finals or anything like that. Um, who knows, maybe they'll bring people out for invitationals or something, but currently as it stands, there is no uh, going out for the LAN in... Uh, Cologne for the PS4 players, but it is something they didn't have previously. Xbox had Pro League before, but there was no PS4 League of any kind. Now there is at least Major League for both. So this is their chance for fame and fortune on PS4. The team's been working hard to do it. I've only been casting it this season, so it was mostly uncasted last season. The uh, exception of Supreme casting some games, I believe, but that might have been mostly for EU. So it's like Devious and Dark Cloud sitting in here as before. Dark Cloud taking a lot of damage though trying to fight that window. Unfortunately. Gonna rotate around. He's all on desiccation to hold it out. Zombie on this Blackbeard or something I don't think we've seen. Desiccation though does get one kill. Nice start for him. Contesting his hatch which did get blown open. TC gets another kill there. Starting to look good for Devious. Infamy <coughs> loses yet another on Splash there from TC. Doing quite well. Let's see how he's doing. Holding this out. Just fighting this hatch. Simple gets a nice kill. And then Desiccation finishing off the last one. And that is Infamy winning map number two. We're going to have the uh, Infamy guys dropping out here so we can recreate the, uh, or create the next map on bank. So that is a nice follow up there to losing first map. So first map went 5-3. To Infamy, second map going five or er, yeah five two to Devious. So I'm not sure why some of the uh, other players are leaving. I don't think they understand, but maybe TC smart enough to stay. Nope, that's okay. We'll just get them back in. Okay, 
yeah, we'll just get the uh, invites sent out as soon as it goes back to us. Luckily, I don't believe I'll have to recreate the entire thing, so we aren't going to have to wait 20 minutes again, hopefully. So just take a second here to get everyone back in. Oops. So we will have Bank as the next map here. So again, this is map number three <coughs> because map one, one by D. Uh, Infamy, map two won by Devious. And this is a best of three for semifinals to decide who's going into the finals against the teams from the other bracket, which are Octane and what was it again? Overdose. Why people aren't joining just yet? <coughs> See if we can get them in here. Resend the invites just in case. Hopefully, I guess they're having some problems with the invites, so hopefully these invites work, so we don't have to send them again. God forbid we have to recreate this lobby. Unfortunately, I think they're getting errors joining, so may have to uh, recreate it, the joys. So, let's see, I'm trying to think if there's any way we can do this without another broken 20 minute lobby recreation. There's a better way to quit the game so that hmm. well, rip. Hopefully, this doesn't take another year. Maybe they can play this last one on streamed. I'll just tell you the results. It's tempting to maybe just have one of them stream it. Just so you guys can see something. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Looks like it's taking a while. Oh, no, we actually worked. Whoa, hallelujah. 
Alright, invites coming out. Oops. Alright. <clears throat> so, just gotta get these guys in. Got a crack in here on bank. Oh, if only it was house. No, that would be funny. These guys to join up. I oh, cooled it. All right, they're joining up here. Infamy guys getting in. Make sure they're on the correct sides. So again, this is map number three. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but if you're all ready, it's checkbox flickering, blue guys. <clears throat> you guys ready? Devious? All right, count of three, we're gonna go. So if you have to go to the bathroom, better go in your pants. And here we are, map number three, bank. I'm gonna start with infamy on defense and Devious on attack. Both teams have won one map. First one was five, three, second one, five, two, in Devious' favor. So this is anyone's map, potentially. So, just waiting on this last TC killer to load. Oh, no, I'm sorry, it's a uh, simple again. Let's get the slow hard drive in there. Maybe we replaced this. Oh, we are going to see our first Capito after all. Capito? Capito? Capico? Oh, of course, going to be starting down in the basement, right? The crazy started somewhere else. But they are crazy. They are going to be starting. Actually, this is something I think we have seen from them before. <clears throat> starting up here on Tellers. Definitely an odd choice, as I do think the basement's still better even on PS4, but <clears throat> play what they like. Sometimes teams also want to start on the secondary site, or they just happen to like this one. Opening up some hatches to rotate down, though. <clears throat> See if they set any defense upstairs. We're playing any roamers up there. Dark gonna be droning in already. So we've got one person ro roaming downstairs. Cloud playing on that pulse. <clears throat> Looks like now we've got Easy actually playing all the way in the garage. Ooh, this could be interesting. Oh, so much second hand. oh, sorry, that's Easy right there. There we go. He is hoping for an opportunity here. Like there, there, were, there were some people over there before. Well, there we go. He's right there. Didn't quite catch him. See if Capito's gonna come back down. Nope, he's busy trying to fight in the loan office. Simple's in there already. Might have even shot Simple. So it looks like that easy kill is not gonna happen. Cloud hanging out down here as well. <coughs> down in the vault now. We're gonna see start to push coming from here. 
They have taken control of the main lobby, which is important. Question is, are they going to take control of this top floor? Simple going to be pushing his way up here, and uncontested for the moment. Can open up the walls as well as a lot of the floor. No buck on their side to be able to help with that, though. It's a little bit harder to hit all the way through the wall. So he's going to have to put some more effort into it. <laughs> Poor guy. This is why you bring a buck on this attack. Both get nades, but he can actually hit through the floor a lot easier. So... Am I doing some droning? Trying to make sure they're not going to get flanked from a weird spot here. No roamers upstairs still. It's still pulse downstairs. We have easy actually in a nice spot here. Try and come around. Hoping to catch maybe tap tap here. Oh, there's one dropping him. Nice drop shot from Dark Cloud. Now he's going to open up the wall on them. Nice C4 kill though from Cloud. Finally making that pulse. Long pulse roam count. Killing desiccation. Now he's going to rotate around, potentially. No, nope, still trying to decide where he wants to go. In the meantime, though, zombie skills does get one. TC trying to work his way in. Smoke is right there on the other side of the wall. Nice kill from him. He's going to have to try and follow it up, though. The two more, he's got three loads soon. Zombie, very low health at this point, though. Same with the uh, right here. Splash, very low health also. So the attackers add a bit of an advantage in this 3v3 just on health alone. But positioning working out pretty good here. Capita trying to do what he can with the Spyros. Move out of position as he comes on in for the kills. Gets one, trying to help keep this plant. There he goes, Cloud. Unfortunately, his, the wall being open used against him right there. This all zombie at very low health. You're trying to defend this room all by himself. Does manage to down TC at the very least. But he's got to stop the diffuser after killing these guys. So he's got a lot of work ahead of him. Trying to peek onto uh, Thermite here, but he gets flashbanged. And that puts them in a good position to find, finally finish him off. And there's a nice kill from Thermite. So that is round number one going over to Devious. Coming on strong after that last map win, although we only saw one round of it after that long break. So they might have... I was going to say lost some momentum, but apparently not. And it's Infamy is going to be the ones going to have to kind of pick it up. Some nice kills by Zombie and Cloud, but it just definitely wasn't enough. Uh, so... We're going to see downstairs start for Devious, so fortunately Infamy's plan of starting upstairs did not work out. So Infamy going to have to pick it up a little bit. On the downstairs, they are going to be bringing a mute and an echo. No smoke, though. Should be interesting. Setting up a lot of stuff upstairs that Makes me think they're going to be playing some roam game here. Zombie and his laggy drones. Trying to decide where to put these other jammers. Castle as well. Definitely want to be able to roam in here. Simple setting himself up for that. Yeah, he's able to rotate back down through the hatches if he wants to as well. He's got to reinforce this wall though if he wants to stay protected there, but he does have some help from desiccation. So it looks like the two of them going to kind of team up in open area here, although the push to open area is potentially happening pretty fast. Nope, looks like they're going to repel up instead. They want to start from the top, work their way down, with the exception of Splash, who's just going to take lobby control right now. So two roamers up top. If TC actually pushing all the way out into the garage, no one looking like they want to contest garage, so they might just be wasting time. More often than not, I see that kind of a waste of time. But hey, that one time when it works, right, might just be what you need. Catch them on advantage. Now they are going to take control of the stock room pretty fast, which is going to give them the ability to open up downwards as uh, through the floor, but the hatches themselves are sealed. So that might be kind of a giveaway that they're playing in there if they weren't already droned out for it. Is he going to try and push down these stairs here? Potentially? Nope. He's probably going to open up some of the floor. Besides the drone instead. Zombie though trying to push. Dark Cloud though. Nice kill there on Splash. Good play by him. Desiccation and uh, Simple trying to hold out. Still TC downstairs. Cloud gets a nice kill onto uh, Simple though. Good trade there. <clears throat> AP pretty low on health for it though. 
He's going to start opening the hatches for them as Zombie tries to hold the flank. Easy going to try and nade down as well. <coughs> Trying to open up an angle of nothing else. Looks like they might have rotated out. Nope, desiccation's still in here. Just holding, waiting this time. Jumps up just the right time to catch one. <coughs> nice call to AP. Drops easy as well, but if he doesn't finish the job, they're definitely going to pick him back up easily. And the flight comes around, he doesn't see it. And there we go, nice play by Cloud, but Cloud somehow gets downed as well. There's a little dog pile in here. Zombie's going to have to cover them, trying to get out. Diffuser hitting, sitting here as well. TC actually going to push his way up, maybe take advantage of this here. Actually pushes upstairs instead, taking advantage of the distraction. Maybe use this hatch against them. Decides not to melee that drone. There's a nice easy kill. Revenge onto the Blackbeard who picked the other two back up. Unfortunately couldn't catch them all. Now we have Kitty watching the hatch here. Nice kill. TC and Dark Cloud finishing them off for Devious' second round. Looking strong here coming off that last round. They just could not hold out on Clubhouse. But other than that, they're definitely playing well. So... Now it's going to be Infamy's turn on defense again. I imagine they're going to go downstairs this time after that first failed attempt, but you never know. They might try it again with some adjustments. This looks like they're still deciding. They are going to go downstairs. Capital going to come out again from TC. And Thatcher this time as well. Still no buck, but that's fine because they're going to be attacking down in the basement instead now. Get all set up downstairs here, get the barbed wire. No jammers or anything, as they don't have a uh, mute. They do have a smoke, who's going to be playing right here to try and smoke. Stall any kind of plants, that's AP. They have a pulse as well, so it'll be interesting to see how he's going to play that. He's upstairs right now, just getting the hatches. May or may not play on Rome. Looks like he could be. Going for this long roam here up in CEO. Sometimes people like to hide under the desk. Maybe joined by Splash as well. Nope, he's going to rotate back down. Maybe just killing some drones or making him think he's going to be roaming. Splash, however, going to continue roaming for the moment. Let's see which side the attackers are going to come from here. It looks like we've got some back alley, some in front of the building. They're joining out, just making sure there's none hanging out in that tellers. Splash still. Hanging out a little bit, but he's mostly on the stairs now, kind of between the site and the next floor. So I'm going to be playing behind the server. Let's see if they push from the sewers, which we don't see a lot of these days. Used to be an old Season 1, 2 meta kind of thing. Three of them downstairs still. Splash up here, and where's the fifth one? There we go, we've got Easy. See Easy in the garage, it looks like. Yeah. Just laying on top of something, perhaps. Yeah, he's just waiting for that kill, but uh, it's not going to come because they're not going to push that way. They have taken control of the kitchen, and basically the open area as well, pushing towards the server side here. That is going to force uh, Splash into a bad position, especially as they get this hatch open now. He's going to go up for a push, though. Could he make this work? Just for the kill. One kill onto TC. Nice job with the shotgun there. Pulse not giving enough good intel. Be able to help with that. So that is the start of a server stairs push here. Meantime, we've got a potential server put or uh, sewer push here on the server from Thermite. It's looking good for that to potentially work out. He knows zombies behind this now. Splash. In the meantime, does get another one onto a simple as zombie gets uh, the Thermite down to two left here. Desiccation gets a nice one on a splash though from this long angle. Letting that get open, of course, working against them. But it is a 4v2. <clears throat> Defender still at a strong advantage here. This could be Infamy's first map point. But Diffuser is chilling right by him here. Zombie going to hear that and easily have the advantage of the missed knife. He 
does take quite a bit of damage, but it is all down to one now. Let's see if Dark Cloud can make this work. Gonna run right in. Zombie gonna finish the job. Easy kill. First really good round there for Infamy. Now we're seeing a mirror of what we saw on Clubhouse. Losing the first two rounds, then coming strong after that. But that is their only their first point. It's not like we didn't see them get any points last map, so they're definitely going to have to pick it up a bit, though. See Dark and TC doing a lot of work for their team. But Zombie played really well behind that server that time, getting some good kills from there. Cloud and Splash doing some great work as well. Controlling those uh, stairs, basically countering their push. Now we're going to see Buck this time. It is Teller, so they are taking advantage of that to actually go through the floor correctly and bringing a sledge, so they get the advantage of both. And then they've got a Thatcher as well to help out. Nothing to open hatches other than Thermite if they want to. But they know they're going to be attacking this because they know that last one was the uh, one site downstairs. I mean, I guess the alternative was the uh, open area, which is also the same lineup, really. But Teller's being a better site to defend. A lot of setup going upstairs, because you don't want to let them just take the upstairs and crush you from above quickly. So Simple and Desiccation going to be setting up up here. Imagine Simple going to be putting all four of his batteries on these walls here, which are, I believe, reinforced. Uh, two of them are. So he's going to need some help doing that from Desiccation. Who's then going to have to set up his castle barricades. It's getting a little bit late on this, but he's, he did get two of his castle barricades set up at least. See, we got one here to try and cut off that, and then one conference. Let's go one more set up. Which I imagine he might do here on the uh, janitor closet door. Actually, no. Attacker's going to come around to put pressure on from the side windows here. Try and clear out that lobby as well. Buck going to be pushing his way up potentially into stock here. Going to do some droning first just to make sure it's clear. He is going to find them up there though. Assuming they don't get the drones first. Now easy trying to push his way around. Thermite also up here. Going to try and help open this up. Now they know there's batteries on it, but they are bringing a, a Thatcher. So assuming he's able to do his job here. Potentially even from the window. Got to break that first. There we go. Nice and safe. Now th Thermite's going to be able to do his thing. Simple's going to have to try and counter it. And there we go. A nice C4 from Dark Cloud, who was ready for exactly that. Nicely played. Simple now able to live through that. He is going to get pushed on this janitor closet. The grenade's coming out. But he's waiting for them to make that push in. Could potentially get the flashbangs to go out, but actually don't hit. He tries to take advantage of it. Misses the shots. One more to follow it up. Easy can't quite land the shots either. They are going to try and put pressure on him, though, with two people if they can. Buck comes around as well. Cloud gets a nice kill on Simple. And it's now a 4v3. Attacker's still at a disadvantage, though they're losing too many people thanks to that C4 kill. And the other one, nice camera there as well. Well hidden. And now a desiccation going to try and hold this upstairs. Make sure that zombie can't push him. He can't open up a bunch of this wall, though, which would probably be the smart thing to do. And that would catch desiccation out. So he's going to drone it first, though, and see if that's worth doing. It's going to be a little bit risky uh, droning in there and giving away that he's just outside of it, but... There we go. Yeah, he's going to open that up. He sees Desiccation for just a second as he runs away. In the meantime, Easy trying to help pinch him out. Crawls right over here. Could easily get him if he knows where he's at. He's expecting him to be in the other room, though, and he's not. He's already moved over to his right. So he's got to get the drone. He's like, oh, I don't have a drone for it yet. There we go. Nice teamwork done. There goes Desiccation. Finally, they clear the top floor. 45 seconds left, though. Not a lot of time here. And Sledge trying to do his thing. This is where Buck needs to be helping, but Buck got down. He needs to get picked back up. Oh, no, he's dead. So that is going to be much more difficult to open that up. Hopefully open some of it. And there goes uh, Cloud. And there's a second kill there for Kitty Purry, who's doing great here on these kills. Playing down on this smoke. Now the diffuser is dropped. It's a bad position for Sledge to be in. He's got to get that diffuser and got to kill three if he wants to try and avoid making a plant. Not going to be easy. Got a lot of angles being watched by all these defenders. And then a nice Claymore kill, though. That's a good, good start. TC, though, finishes easy off. That is going to be another win on the board for Devious. Trying to close this out quickly after all those long delays. Nice set of uh, kills here. Fairly even spread. I mean, Infamy down a bit more, but it is definitely uh, Devious closing out these rounds. So we are going to go to Teller for Infamy now, since they won the downstairs. 
Let's see if they can defend this well as they have they started it before, switched lost it, switched downstairs, and are now back up to it. So hopefully they've learned from their mistakes. Hope we'll see this echo actually roaming upstairs. Uh, I mean the actual echo downstairs, but the uh, Yoka drone upstairs to help uh, with the upstairs roam defense. Dark Cloud bringing the fuse so you can see a nice uh, cluster charge right down into the uh, tellers, potentially, when they get top control if he doesn't die doing so. But I do hope to see some good uh, Yokai drone teamwork and help hold this off. Getting this set up. Questions are they going to be playing the people upstairs? That is what uh, Devi's just did, and they won quite well. They did a lot of damage being up there. Doesn't seem like Infamy wants to set up upstairs, and that might be really what's costing them here their, their fatal mistake. Is AP really going to be playing out in the lobby? No, that would be weird. Every once in a while, though, you can catch someone by surprise like that. Easy actually going to drop downstairs, open this hatch right up, and just going to use it to rotate around to the garage. Might actually catch someone this time. We saw him trying to do this before. Capital rotated it up. Nope, he's gonna miss TC. TC not playing on Capital this time, but not also gonna go down there. Doesn't catch anyone. So this is unfortunate for him. Just burning up a lot of time. We actually have two people just in sight on cameras. Let's see if uh, AP's got this drone out here. Yep, he's got it downstairs, which they're not coming from. Again, this is definitely I think better upstairs. Maybe he just wanted to see if anyone came that way. He's going to rotate that around to the lobby where they are starting to put pressure now. Got TZ coming in from Lone Office. Got the Thermite coming in straight into the lobby. See if TZ is able to do anything from here, trying to work this angle. No, he's going to do some droning first just to play it safe. Echo Drone still doing something. The Bandit took a bit of damage there, unfortunately. He playing in sight. Must have taken it from the Skylights, potentially. Trying to hang out in there, not working out. Four people on site here. Easy all the way downstairs still. Not going to get spotted out, but not going to do anything either. Definitely in a, unaffected from down there. He's going to have to rotate up and get a nice flank on them at some point. In the meantime, oh, there's a nice kill from Zombie Skills onto Desiccation. Good C4. <coughs> here the Fuse Cluster Charges now, though, doing their work. No one getting caught out, but that could catch some barbed wire as well. So definitely useful, even if it doesn't kill anyone. Here comes another one. Gotta make sure to stay clear of it himself so he doesn't kill himself. Looks like he's waiting for the right time to do it. And he's gonna try and drone now that he's uh, done his work with those. Fortunately, he didn't get any kills with them, but still useful. Up there, might look for an angle here. Smoke popping his smokes to try and stall them out as much as possible, but at the minute mark here, having used two smokes is not great for Splash. Because he, he's gonna need to delay the more simple, though. It does get a kill onto uh, zombie skills. So that is him lost. Echo hanging out here. He's going to get it back on his drone, but he's in a tight position. Easy, though. Does manage to get a kill, finally. Looks like he made that flank work after all. There's a Yokai drone going up. He's going to stun two of them, potentially, here. That is going to help, but fortunately, he doesn't have the timing to follow it up. And there's Easy getting another kill. He's on top of this flank here. As I said earlier, we're not doing anything back then, but he's definitely making this count. Cloud with a nice kill as well. They're definitely turning this back. It is all now down to a 4v1. Infamy with a bad start, putting a lot of pressure now on TC. AP not able to get the kill, unfortunately. <coughs> Three armor not paying off due to a headshot. There's Cloud with a good position to be in. Yeah, taking him down to half health, but can't quite finish it up. Somehow Easy can't land the shots either. If he clutches this out, he's a god, but unfortunately not for him. Cloud there to finish the job. And that is Infamy getting their second point now, trying to bring this back. Might not be over yet. No one on match point either. The pistol slaughter. So, that is their successful defense now, so that means they're going to go back downstairs next time. So now, we are going to have Devious defending again, but this time downstairs. <coughs> they did defend both sites successfully, though, so this could be match point time for Devious if Infamy haven't figured out what they were doing wrong. They're bringing a Mute Jammer this time, along with the Echo, but no smoke. Capital coming out from AP. We'll see how they set this up here. 
Curious about the mute jammers. Looks like you could be setting those up for upstairs again. Try and choke off this hallway as much as possible. Definitely take some practice in custom games to really figure out where the good choke points are. Because if you don't place it precisely, sometimes you can just give away a spot to a drone. Looks like they actually want to defend open area. That's part of the reason they're cutting this off. They want to stop that hatch in the admin area from getting opened up. And that requires cutting this off as much as possible. Looks like he has practiced some of these drone or the uh, jam replacements, though. He's definitely choking out most of the access here from the sides. Now they've got to make sure to get the hatches reinforced upstairs from above. Like it looks like they have. They don't have a bandit or anything to stop them from being able to blow those walls with the thermite, but they didn't bring a thermite on the opposing side. So this may actually work out pretty well on this lineup. See how many actually stay in this open area. Looks like a lot of people, all four people upstairs, only one, nope, never mind, two defending downstairs. TC, but TC rotates back up, it is all down just to Echo, and he could actually lay in sight with his Echo drone upstairs if they have a good intel on where everyone's at. They know whether or not he needs to push. He can just hang out potentially in B-side here with his Yokai drone. That would be an interesting idea, but Splash actually pushing aggressively downstairs. This could be interesting if he's able to make this work. It's just going to be him versus Echo. Going to open up a bit more of that. He's going to give away his position, though, in doing so. But now he's going to bring out his drone. See if he can do anything to stop what's going on here. Rotate around. Take out some of these ADSs. Now he just needs to find... There we go. Found him. Going to do a little bit of damage to him initially. And that's going to kind of make him reposition. And that's what he needs. Try and catch him off. But he doesn't see the right angle as he jumps between sites. It actually doesn't work out in his favor. In the meantime, though, easy with a nice kill upstairs. It's looking good for him. Yeah, unfortunately, he gets down by desiccation, though. Who did rotate back. So they're trying to stop this push. That is coming. Diffuser already planted. C4 kill a little bit late from Dark Cloud. Ooh, mid-jump there. Splash finally takes advantage of his position in the garage. It's all down to him and Capital though, and now just him. <clears throat> Diffuser was planted, but he's got to defend it solo against three people. He is spotted out. This actually is going to be hard. Dark Cloud sitting there smacking it. This looks like Infamy could take this, potentially. Or, I mean, sorry, Devious. And that is match point now, 4-2. Infamy got a bit of an uphill battle to stay in this. Nice Diffuse there. So, now back downstairs from Infamy. Assuming they don't want to play CEO for some weird reason. Nope, back downstairs. Now they did pretty well with this lineup before, especially with Zombie playing behind that server. But I'm not sure that that's going to work out a second time, as they're going to be expecting it. And they're going to have some more utility for it. I would almost like to see them bring a Capitao to try and get him out, but they still can grenade him as well. So if they grenade, say, both sides, for example, or just... Uh, get the, the timing of it just right so it hits kind of the middle, they might be able to get him out from behind there if he's going to play that spot again. Assuming he probably will be, and then Splash playing the stairs, which worked out pretty well. Got to get their hatches reinforced first. As there are four to do. There is uh, two in this open area right here, <clears throat> and then the elevator and the tellers. There's that last hatch getting reinforced on tellers. So that cloud can rotate back down. He's not as fast at it as Zombie as he is at two speed, not a three. So he's going to have to rotate back. So I'm getting some last minute barbed wire up. Is Cloud actually going to play this upstairs? It's dangerous to play in the hatch. I've seen people also get stuck on that. So now he's going to rotate back down. Here's if anyone's going to play Garage. Easy. There we go. I'm not surprised to see him, the one playing it. Make sure they can't approach from there. And they may approach from the sewers again, although, again, trying to contest the zombie back there is dangerous. Easy, not going to get a kill from on TC, who's just rotated up to loan office yet again. Seems to be his main strategy. Splash still playing these stairs. Simple, though, is already, in the meantime, taking control of open area. That's a good start for them, not contesting it. So now they just got to get that hatch open. Splash getting ready to fight, though. Just waiting for his opportunity. Checking his cameras just to make sure. Zombie behind servers again. Looks like this Thatcher gonna be the one to try and put some pressure on this potentially, although he's exposing his back at the same time. He's gotta be careful about that. Did have some coverage. C4 in hand here 
waiting to come out from Splash. Hoping to catch that Thatcher. Nope. Grenades start to come out, though, to catch that. Oh, uh, the throw. And no one. Unfortunately, now he's giving away his position. But he is playing with a shotgun, which is the smart thing to do. Fortunately for him, though, he gets pushed back. Simple pushing this heavily. But shots come out there from TC as well to follow it up. Two-man thing works. Takes a bit of damage, but it, it does the job. Now it looks like the, the push is coming in. A zombie taken out as well. That hole definitely not going to work anymore. That's you're doing his thing from here. Dark going to do some droning. Does catch out Pulse. Him and Jaeger trying to play it back here. Looks like AP, the only one left, kind of in sight on the uh, red hallway. Going to try and stall out Simple if he can. There's another smoke grenade. He's got one left. He's going to double it up for some reason. Not a good idea with a minute 20 left. More than enough time for them to bait that out. Desiccation gets a kill on the cloud. It is all down onto AP as Desiccation finishes off easy as well. He's got to try and hold this red hallway by himself. Doesn't have a lot of access to anything. Easily cornered out and finished off. And that is them taking all or both maps, taking all the match for the day. Moving forward in the semifinals, Devious going to be fighting against either Octane or Overdose. Either the O's. So nicely done. Well played by Devious after losing the first map, coming back two maps in a row. Well done. That break did not help Infamy as much as it uh, helped Devious. So nicely done. Well, that is it for everyone today. Thanks for tuning in for the semifinals. We don't have the other match that will be off stream as it had to be rescheduled uh, between, as I said, Octane and Overdose. So I will paste the uh, the bracket link here in the chat. So this is the brackets you can see. Oops, that's yeah. That's the wrong one. Wait, no, sorry. There's the wrong link here. So this one. All right, that will be the correct link to the uh, the current bracket for the finals. So the other one was for the groups on accident. So <clears throat> make sure to check that out. And uh, I think the the next week should be just the proper finals. Uh, so I'm not sure, um, but it, make sure to follow at MZO, MZO on Twitter so you'll know when the casting happens. And uh, also hopefully see everyone for Challenger League if there's a good Challenger League match uh, this Thursday. Thanks everyone for tuning in. Sorry about the technical issues. And uh, peace out.